Good morning from Barat. We are in the place to be right now. Mm -hmm. Look at this place. I feel like I'm in a storybook. We've actually got an entire Southern Albania road trip planned for the next week, but we might just stay here the whole week. That's we true. found what we were looking for in Barat. It's so charming. This is the place to be right now. So we came in last night. We found a hotel kind of last minute. And I will say the breakfast at the hotel was absolutely incredible. And look at the view. Cannot beat the view. Traditional Albanian food, coffee, cheese, the whole nine yards with the view, just incredible. And I will say we learned that this cheese we're eating is not feta cheese. I have to apologize to my Albanian followers. I think I've been calling this cheese feta cheese. I believe it's Albanian cheese is the name of it. It's super delicious. I was putting it with tomato, tomato and cucumber, making a sandwich and just eating it like a cheese tomato sandwich, no bread. So good, salty and delicious cheese. Now, since breakfast, we've actually checked out a pretty incredible spot that I would say is a good symbol for interfaith harmony or some sort of religious tolerance. There's a really beautiful church and without exaggeration, 30 seconds walk, there's a pretty beautiful mosque right beside it. So we tried to explore both. Unfortunately, the mosque was closed. So we couldn't go inside, it was all kind of locked up, but the church was open, so we did wander in there and say our prayers this morning. Really, really beautiful. We noticed that the ceiling had a dome shape, almost like a mosque. I would say a smaller dome than the, the big kind of mosque yeah. dome, but pretty incredible to have that right beside a mosque. That's an Orthodox church. Orthodox church, yeah. so it felt a little different than our kind of typical um, familiar Christian churches, but familiar enough to us to say our prayers. And now we're wandering through Barat, and I gotta say- Are you losing your breath already? Because we're going uphill right now. Lots of hills in Barat. Look at this guy, so beautiful. So nice, check this out. Look at Ivan, he's running around. Cannot wait to explore Barat today. So it's a super historical place. We're on our way to something called Barat Castle. Um, which I'm excited for. You can see all the stonework behind me, ancient and beautiful, and all the cobblestone streets. Just loving it here. So I think the castle is just up here. We'll go explore that and see if we can dig up some uh, secrets. I think there's a museum attached to it so we can learn more about uh, the place we're in. I gotta say, so far, so good in Marat. So beautiful. Okay, next stop, castle. Let's go. Barat Castle, dude, this is my kind of place. This is my kind of travel destination. Super historical, super beautiful. You can see all the ruins around us. I would say it's considerably damaged, but still incredibly intact, really, mm -hmm. for a tourist. I mean, it's amazing. Now, it seems like in Albania, they're using the term castle for what I would call a fort, or what in Pakistan was called a fort. Right. So it is actually um, got a bunch of buildings in here, and these are all inside the walls of the castle. Yeah. So I'm thinking of a castle as one building where one person lived, like a king, but this is more like an entire city with walls around it. That's right. Now, it's been here ages and ages. Uh, the Romans, in fact, destroyed this castle in the year 200 BC, which is like incredible. More than 2,000 years ago, there was a castle here. Mm -hmm. um, but since then, most of these stones were actually laid in the 13th century, wow. which is mind-blowingly incredible. Like almost 1,000 oh. years ago. In the oh, wow. 1200s, these stones were laid, and they're still here today. Um, whole bunch of houses up here where people still live which is yeah. pretty fantastic again you can live in a castle 
<laughs> as so a regular fun. citizen, as a non-king, you could live in a castle, yeah. which is pretty fantastic. And it's actually super massive. We can go way over here and explore lots. Uh, super excited to be here. So I think we're going to go maybe walk the border first and then go and explore the insides. I'm so excited for this. Right. Barad That's Castle, right. almost a thousand years old. These stones we're walking on. Wow, amazing. To think look that people that. who laid these stones were like in the 1200s. Yeah, look just at all incredible. the stones on the pathways. And they're even like guest houses and hotels now inside the castle and restaurants. So cool. Awesome, and I dude. think there's a museum <laughs> somewhere inside. Too. Yeah, so let's go wander around and then we'll hit the museum. The views up here are incredible. It's historical, it's uh, cultural, it's scenic. Great travel destination Amazing. for a castle. Right. Okay, let's go explore more. <laughs> so we've almost made it to the museum. I will say this type of experience is exactly the reason we made a YouTube channel for travel. Oh my no? god. This yeah. is some of the best travel experiences. This street this is so great, man. This little alley is so cute and they're selling all kind of traditional products here. <laughs> What's amazing is people still live here. Yeah. So let's see someone's house, which is like the most picturesque house you've ever seen mm -hmm. with like a mercedes-benz in front of it like a right. modern car in front of this house and a castle yeah it's amazing man. okay we're it's going amazing. to museum iconographic oh no free all right all right ivana the question is do you want to do the audio guide 35 artifacts uh 90 minutes an hour and a half It'll be nice for the information, but it's an hour and a half in the museum. Are you in for it? I'm in for it, yeah, if sure. you are. Okay, audio guide, here we come. Hour and a half in the museum. I'm excited, man. All right, good news and bad news. I should say terrible news and terrific news. Uh, the terrific news is that museum was so good. One of the best museums I've ever been to in my life. I'm not exaggerating. Probably my second favorite ever. I think my favorite one was the War Memorial in South Korea, but this museum was my second favorite museum ever. So good. The bad news is absolutely no photography, video, anything allowed. So I cannot bring you guys in there to show you what we just saw, but it was so good. So unbelievably incredible museum. Um, the entire museum is in a cathedral. So there's many cathedrals in this castle. Um, the entire museum, everything's huge archways and big Gothic style cathedral. So incredible. They've got original manuscripts that were um, written in the first century. Christian wow. manuscripts that uh, were used to corroborate and confirm the gospels. Like 2,000 year old writings they found underneath the floorboards of the church wow. they had to discover it they've got paintings from the 15th century 16th century and the audio guide is so good because it tells you what's going on in the paintings if you guys know from like old school religious paintings um they're very confusing to look at they sometimes grotesque with like demons and burning and you never really know what's going on but with the audio guide they tell you look in the top left corner you'll see this in the bottom right corner you'll see this and this picture is telling the story of this and it was discovered in this time and oh it was so good that museum was incredible yeah absolutely five stars six stars one of my favorite museums ever and you guys <laughs> cannot see any of it sorry but um the stuff in there is so fragile that any sort of flash photography could damage it. They're like, no photos. I'm like, that's fine. Very, very old uh, paintings. In the main cathedral room, they've got this ceiling to floor, like huge sculpture out yes. of wood. And it's like a church. So it's they've got like a pews and they've got like confessional and all these. And it's all carved out of wood. If it was carved 
like this week, it would be the best carving you've ever seen. It was carved in 1807. It's more than 200 years old, and it's the most intricate, beautiful carving, huge floor-to-ceiling, wall-to-wall, absolutely amazing museum. Amazing, and it costs 400 like per person right. plus 100 if you want the audio guide. And the audio guide is so worth it. Yeah. Honestly, guys, if you're traveling Albania and you're coming to Barat, uh, you have to go to the museum. It's a must. It's so good. They have right. so many interesting historical things in there and the audio guide is so good i wish you guys could see it anyway <laughs> that's enough about the museum i know you guys don't want to hear about museums but i love that so much um that being said i think i'm kind of hungry and kind of thirsty i think we should wander through the castle a little more yeah. maybe find a cafe to have a snack at there uh, will so many alleyways like this yes. that are so picturesque this is like instagram heaven yes you should bring if you're coming here and you're a lady and you like instagram you should bring four outfits <laughs> so you can have lots of different photos and people think you you are all over the world because it's so nice and here thinking about it uh i think you should take a picture of me how about that instagram Yvonne, boyfriend <laughs> i'm actually a uh, part-time instagram photographer unpaid <laughs> volunteer volunteer hours not but, that uh, <laughs> much i don't think that many pictures Yvonne is the best at saying <laughs> just one more photo it'll be one more photo 500 times today i'm willing to do look it look at that door i know it's so good everywhere you look in here is just amazing yeah okay let's keep exploring uh barat castle so nice let's go Beautiful. What a place to hang out. Yeah. Like I was saying, guys, brand new Mercedes Benzes and they live here. It's like amazing. The ultimate lifestyle. The old and the new. With a view. The old and the new with a view. Wow. I think we should sit under these trees and have a drink, Ivana. This looks amazing. I mean, look at these guys. They got this car and they live here. This is unbelievable. This is like the ideal life, man. <laughs> just amazing we're gonna sit here and have a drink come on Barat is too good to be true man poof just incredible you wanna sit up there bid? so pretty come on right look at this view are you looking at it? Ivan, I'm looking. I swear I'm looking. By the way, if you guys see the river right there, I don't know if you guys see. Yeah. Keep it's barely. called awesome because it's awesome. <laughs> Actually true. The name for the river is OSUM. Awesome River. Awesome River. Because it's awesome. They should call this Awesome Castle. <laughs> yeah. Because this castle is awesome. And actually that museum? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's have a drink and chill, man. This is awesome. Yeah, look at the wall. Yeah, look at the wall. This fort. Probably built in the 1200s. Does it even yeah. make sense to you? This like is the almost wall a thousand right years ago. You know, 800 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Uh, they built this place, and now you got people chilling here with good Wi-Fi, yeah. good electricity, driving a Mercedes Benz. I mean, this is amazing. And you're looking, overlooking Barat. The I mean, we are in Barat, but people, the commoners, all live right there below us. And our guest house is somewhere around there, down there. I mean, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I just love all the mountains. Look at that one. I, you can see a little bit of snow right there. A little bit of snow. Oh, yeah. Good one, Ivana. Way yeah. up in the top there. Tiny bit of snow. Yeah. Wow, so what a place to be right now. Barat Castle. All right, let's chill, Ivana. <laughs> let's chill. Let's hurry up and chill. Yeah, let's get some drinks. Awesome. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. dream <laughs> yep you are steve i feel like i'm in a dream <laughs> perfect weather in the shade cold breeze in my armpits with this view cold bottle of beer what could be better after visiting a top-notch museum this is this is incredible mm -hmm. what a good life if i had an audio guide right now like in the museum my audio guide would say uh in this exhibit, you're seeing the best day of your life. <laughs> <laughs> nice <one. laughs>
Yo, there's a really sweet viewpoint we saw over there with the drone. Uh, I think we're gonna go to that viewpoint and just and just let our hearts intertwine, Ivana, because this is memorable stuff right here. Right. This is the reason you travel. Let's go. After our live stream fiasco, this is a nice rebound. Right. This is mm, mm, mm. <laughs> tasty. Tasty. All right. All right, let's go. Oh, how pretty is the view? Look at that. Wow. So up here, you really get the idea uh, as to why it was like a castle or like a fort. You're way right. up, you can see 360 degrees all around you. Yes. And with the drone, we can see how it's up on top of the mountain, or on top of the hill, I should say. Uh, so good for defense. That's true. And so beautiful, to be clear. Yeah, amazing. Just look at this. From up here, you can really see why Barat is known as the city of one million windows. Some of these houses are so beautiful. And I will say, I was reading online that there's a time in Barat history where this whole area had only 700 houses. It went through a big decline. I think it was the wow. 1400s because of medieval times, war, and sort of life in the medieval times. And I think these houses here might be the ones that are more original you know, ancient houses. If you look at them, they look totally different than uh, the ones over here. This is, seems to be the modern part of the city because nowadays Barat is the ninth largest city in Albania, which is sort of unbelievable because it feels like a village out here. But it's not impossible, and I think it might be likely, that these houses here are hundreds of years old. Most likely probably the foundation all the stones are hundreds of years old. If they have a second floor, I'm sure that's probably more modern and their roofs are probably modern. But um, people have been living, I think, right in this little valley right here for hundreds and hundreds of years. And that's why you have uh, them so close to the fort. Amazing here, absolutely loving it. Okay, Ivana, I think we should um, say we've conquered Barat Fort. We should go check out Barat City because there's lots to see and do here. The fort is only one attraction and I sort of hijacked the day and made us stay for a long time because the museum was so good. But let's go explore uh, Barat City. We can go through maybe the more modern part or maybe this part. We'll go see where we end up yeah, and go, see what we can go see. Go by the river down there. Go by the river. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're on the bridge, headed over to that little area we saw from the viewpoint up there. So we were up there on the viewpoint and we saw this beautiful looking area with these old houses that are so picturesque and beautiful. And even on the way here, we've seen tons of these houses that are just breathtaking, built up on the hill. And as we were walking right beside the river, I was just thinking, man, Barat is a special place. I absolutely love it here. Now, before I was a YouTube traveler, I was a roofer. And I have to talk about the roofs of the houses here. I love the clay tiles so much. They give the house so much character and so much just uh, beauty. I've never worked with clay tiles in Canada. I would call myself an all systems roofer. I've done all the systems. I've never worked with that system. Wow. We do not use clay tile in Canada. And honestly, it just gives the house so much character i feel like the people yeah. living in a house that looks that good they must have interesting stories to tell the house yeah. looks so good with that Amazing. roof on it with the stones on the foundation i mean it looks so good yeah i must say the nature here in barat is incredible 
incredible. The river is beautiful, the mountain backdrop is beautiful, but what so makes nice. this place so special is the houses. Agreed. The houses is just really, really unique. Agree. And it's just the architecture is just so, so good. Picturesque. Yeah, it's so good yeah. looking, man. I can't wait. Hopefully, we can go over here and find yeah. a little cafe or something. As you can see, the house has got so many windows. <laughs> so beautiful. Amazing. And the bottom layer is that stones that are probably, you know, hundreds yeah. and hundreds Look of years this, old. Just this. And then, uh, and then the houses. Okay, let's go get yeah. something to eat. I'm hungry. Let's go. All right, so as it turns out, this area on the other side of the river is not really for tourists. There's not really a lot of yeah. action over there. It's mostly just locals' houses. I will say, though, uh, in terms of walking in circles, that was some of the best walking in circles I've ever done. <laughs> we didn't really accomplish anything. We just sort of wandered around. Yeah. There were a few bars and restaurants uh, that seemed to be closed, but yeah. so picturesque, so photogenic, so beautiful. I uh, really loved it. Yeah, really Although loved it. nothing seemed to be open. So much more quieter on that side than this other side. Yeah, this side over yeah. here is where we're going to go now. There seems to be some cafes here, but just to show you guys. Up here is where we were at the viewpoint. If you can see way up there, that's the viewpoint. And this is the area we were looking at just now and wandering through. Yeah. So great. Absolutely loved it. I mean, okay. so I just good. Cannot, and maybe uh, now we'll I sit admire here. Admire the houses so much. Here. So beautiful. Yeah, and you can see like there are lots of churches around and also mosques. lots of mosques as well. Yeah. Really, really great. Yeah. Wow. Okay, here we go, guys. I mean, it's so incredible. It does remind me of northern Pakistan a little bit. Yeah. Uh, some people just walked by and the bridge was bouncing and I had a flashback of. You know, shaky bridge, beautiful mountains, beautiful place. A little bit like northern Pakistan. Beautiful. But uh, I'm really, really hungry. So let's go to a cafe here maybe. I want a sandwich. Look at Ivana. Look at Okay, time for a sandwich. Let's go eat. Let's go. Restaurant friendly house. Restaurant friendly house. So you show up being And there's a rooftop patio or something. I think we might have, uh, we might have nailed it here. I think we can go up one more level and set on the roof a bit, which I'm really excited for. Terrace. This is what I'm talking about. Dude, this place is fantastic. Poof. Oh, this is what I want, Ivana. This is what I want. And there's where we were. This is where we're sitting. Well, this is fantastic. All right, stuffed peppers, which you guys have seen before. This is sort of a uh, staple food for us. But something new here called Gabrek, which seems to be a uh, rice leaf, no, grape leaf, sorry, <laughs> stuffed with rice. And then uh, you put this sauce on it, which may be tartar sauce. And overall, I would say this is really good. Really good, no? Um, it has a little bit of a sour flavor to it. I think they might have steamed it. And I think I've never eaten grape leaf. Really? It's good. The leaf itself is sort of bitter. So they have rice inside, inside a grape leaf. Sort of bitter, sort of sour, which sounds bad by the way, bitter and sour. No, but it's quite good. Yeah. It's kind of light and refreshing tasting. I like it. Really nice. Okay. And the atmosphere could not be better. Yes, Come on. This is great. Restaurant friendly house. <laughs> it really is. Nice. <laughs> after this, we're going to go check out, um, I think there's a mosque nearby. We missed getting inside that mosque this morning. So I want to go find a mosque and we can go explore a little bit. All right, let's eat and go. Darn it. That's twice today, uh, the thing we're trying to see is not able to go inside. So we did get inside the museum, but we couldn't film it. Now this mosque, so excited to show you guys, and we cannot go inside as you can see construction. The thing is, this mosque was built in the 15th century. And shortly after the construction, there were some Jewish immigrants to Barat like 150 or 170 Jewish people came and lived here. Um, so inside this mosque, like right in the construction on the wall in stone, like put into the construction is a Star of David. I really wanted to show the Star of David inside the mosque because these Jewish people that lived in Barat were allowed and encouraged to worship in the mosque as they didn't have a synagogue because they were like the only 150 Jewish people in the area. Mm -hmm. So I would have loved to show the image of the Star of David in the mosque, some sort of interfaith, Tolerance, more than tolerance, it's like encouragement. Harmony. 
harmony. It's even more than tolerance. It's like uh, helpful nature, you know? Yeah. But unfortunately, as you can see, under construction. Oh, that's too bad. Would have loved to see the Star of David. You can see pictures online. It's like uh, kind of like in the construction, inlaid in the wall. Yeah. Uh, really excited for that. Unfortunately, close. Yeah. So that ends our Barat video. Yeah. Kind we of got on a low all note. types of religion living together, respecting each other here in Albania. And now, all the Albania, their religion is called Albanians. <laughs> it's funny that they, they aren't very religious people, uh, we're told. Yeah. But in this particular village, uh, or city, tons of churches and tons of mosques. Yeah, that's right. And super beautiful, all of them. Yeah. So I was really hoping to go in this mosque. It's called the uh, King's Mosque. Okay. Uh, originally built in the 1400s. Right. Would have been nice to go inside and see the Star of David, but it's not going to happen. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our video. We will be going to our accommodation now. Maybe yeah. our outro can be the accommodation. Yeah, we got new accommodation since the other one sold out for tonight. So we got to move. All right. So let's see you guys in two days. Here's the outro of our new accommodation, and we'll see you in two days. Bye. All right. Welcome to our new place for one night. We got four beds for the two of us. 22 zero euros. What is this? It looks like a bread box. No, it's a radio. No, no. Do please. Es no pumpo. No kakshu. No kakshu. It works? No. Yeah, just a moment. I think it works. Wow. It's a caprero. Radio. If the radio works, Ivana, that's worth wow. 20 euros right there. No prisa. No. 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 Broken. No prisa. No problem. No problem. Oh no, la 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 no la 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 no la 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 for two and two breakfasts. Yes. Cheaper than yesterday, but uh, we did lose the view a little bit, but still, come on, really great. Yeah, and I guess we're sort of in their house. Yeah. Their kind of Get sprawling house. house. Oh. Thank you, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Look at this. Super nice, right? Grapefruit. Uh, grape. No, 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 grape, Ivana. Grape tree. You like to say grapefruit. But <laughs> they're this, this. fruits, come on. Grapes, grapes are fruits, but it's not grapefruits. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they're growing great. I wish they were like more plump oh, and you bigger. And squeeze it right there. That'd be so nice. And we're right beside the uh, one of the many mosques that we saw. But again, it was closed. We couldn't go in. So look here. Mosque here and mosque over there. Fig tree. I Fig think. tree. You can see all the little fruits starting to blossom. We really are in someone's house right now. This yeah. is fantastic. Amazing day in Barat. What's our plan tomorrow, Ivana? Where are we going? Uh, we're going to another town. Called? Let's see if I can say it right. Gijo Caster. Joe Caster. Come again? Spell it. G J. G J. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Okay, okay, G J. Okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. So the J know. would be a Y sound. It'd be Gye or something. Gye. Yo Caster. No, Gye. Gyarcaster. No, it could be Jarcaster. I have no anyway, idea. Anyway, <laughs> it's written here. <laughs> okay. Awesome. What a day we'll we had. We'll learn more about it. What a day we had. Well, just look at the house. It looks pretty old. I love no? their roof. Sorry like to talk the about chimney. their roofs too much, but their roofs are so great. Look at the clay tiles, man. They might have been laid 50 years ago or more. Those things last forever, I think. Yes, very nice. You I get a like lifetime this. warranty on that kind of roof. <laughs> All right, there you have it, guys. We'll see mm. you tomorrow.